good luck everyone. I just arrived at the hyena den and there is someone home. Uh, this is the young, oh, young-ish cub, not the, the completely young one that we saw last time. But this is, um, how old is this one? Seb, it must be about three, four months old, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the one I think they called in Tima? Mm, the one. I think so. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any other hyena around here, so I'd, I don't know. This is the, I think only the second time I've seen this one. Um, the last time was about a month ago, so... There's no adult around the den at the moment that I can see. Maybe on the other side. I haven't had, we haven't had a look on the other side yet. <laughs> Chris Rogue, you say this is in Tima. So, yeah, we're right. One of the... the um, Young cubs, but there is the and they or oh, I actually don't know if there's one or two other really young cubs. Um, they are still black in coloration because they are so young. We saw one the other day with the adult. It was busy suckling outside the den. It's always nice to see the young hyena. I do think the young hyena are very cute. <laughs> Looks a little lonely. asking if the hyenas are related to dogs. Um, Kyle, this studies and scientists have shown that the hyena are actually more closely related to cats, believe it or not. Um, obviously they take a look at teeth, foot structure, DNA, um, but they yeah, they they reckon that it's close, more closely related to cats than to dogs. But um, but not in the, the feline family at all. Obviously, they're in their own family, hyena day. Oh, you can hear the Franklins making a noise, crested Franklins. Wonderful view of that hyena. Beautiful golden light on it now. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. It's still quite chilly. Patty, you asked if the hyena cubs are in danger while the mother's gone. So, Patty, it's highly unlikely that a predator will come through and just uh, try and get the cubs at the den. Usually if the cubs run down into the den, um, they would be safe in there. And Patty, to be honest, I've, I've never experienced hyena cubs being killed at the den. Um, I've never seen it. I haven't heard of it. Look, maybe if lions stumbled upon the den um, and saw this youngster, it could potentially be in danger, but it would just turn and run 
back into one of these holes and then the lions would most likely not be able to get it. They wouldn't fit in there. So Paddy, I don't think they are in danger. And like I say, from what I've seen in the past, hyena cubs are left at the den regularly while the adults go off and scavenge and they return once or twice a day. Sky, you were wondering if the cubs raise themselves. No, not at all. They're very reliant on the adults. The adults return to the den, um, allow, or well, the female, the, the, the mother at least, the alpha female, she will arrive back at the den and suckle the cubs. And, um, and then once they get to an age that they're able to move around with the clan or with an adult, they'll follow that adult around and try and scavenge food. It is. You can hear those ground hornbills again. They're taunting us this morning. We'll have to try and find them. I've been trying to think and rack my brain of birds that we still need, that we might be able to get, but I can only think of about four or five. Although, we've been, we've been surprised by some wonderful new birds. Well, you asked how many hyena will occupy occupy a den like this. Now, I read somewhere, and I can't remember if it was in this book that I've got here. I'm going to look it up quickly. Well, <clears throat> but some clans can get really large, and you can get up to 15 or 20 hyenas moving together in certain areas. I'm sure up in East Africa they've got, uh, they've got big clans. And we can ask um, James and and Taylor about that but regularly now the hyena usually only have the female gives birth to one or two cubs um, that is it's very rare to have more um, I think I've seen three but usually it's one or two uh, but then what will happen is she may allow a uh, kind of a beta female so the next in line in terms of the hierarchy she will allow them to give birth or mate and give birth to cubs and those cubs will also be raised at the den um, so I'm trying to think the most youngsters I've seen at a den I think about six or seven varying in age but about uh, six or seven youngsters around a den and then some adults <clears throat> so it, it it varies constantly it varies all the time I don't know exactly I can't give you an, an exact number because it changes but um, I mean here yeah, at the moment from what I know from what I've seen I've seen one adult female here I've seen this youngster and I've seen that other uh, younger one that's probably only a few uh, I thought it was about um, three to four weeks old judging by the coloration maybe a month old but we didn't get a good look at it so I've only seen three but um, but I'm sure the other hyena do return to this den at some point the other clan members of this well, of this clan Alyssa, as I was, I was just mentioning now, and it's probably answered your question, is um, you asked, is it common for hyena to just have one cub? So it is. It's more common for them to have one or two cubs than more than that. They usually only have one or two. No, no, 
those hornbills are still calling in the distance. It's starting to warm up a little bit now as the sun rises and goes high into the sky. Very pleasant, a wonderful morning. Seb, if I doze off, just tap me on the head, won't you? <laughs> Very relaxing. And as I mentioned earlier, this is one of my favorite times of the day. These early mornings, these cool winter mornings. I know we are in spring, but it does feel like a winter morning. It's uh, nice and well, warming up now after being quite cold. All right, I'll sit here for a few more minutes um, and see if we have any sign of the other youngster. But let's head across now to Taylor, who's got some beautiful elephant in the mire.